Jupiter Media presents. We are in the top 30 universities in the UK out of 122 universities in terms of student satisfaction. Uh, and that what, what that means is student satisfaction can be related to teaching quality, it can be with support services, uh, facilities. So we're encompassing the entire student experience when we talk about student satisfaction. It's not just about the academics, but it's making sure that they're supported with their uh, mental well-being, financial well-being, uh, any issues that arise, um, you know, we're there to take care of them. Uh, also at the university, we're very proud that 58% of our uh, research is internationally uh, recognized, so uh, a large proportion of our research at the university uh, exceeds global standards. So again, teaching to that very high quality. In York, we're very popular with undergraduate students, in particular, hospitality tourism management, which is probably our most popular program uh, for, uh, with Nepalese students. We also have programs in uh, marketing and in entrepreneurship and uh, also computer science, cyber security. Uh, and of course, if students are interested, we do have other schools in arts, in psychology, in humanities. And also we, we do, we offer quite a few programs, but I think the computer science area, health, business, seems to be very popular amongst Nepalese. And we, of course, give them the, those options in masters and undergrad in York and postgrad in London only. Destination UK featuring UK. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Destination UK program. This program is all about studying UK opportunities and university profile. Today I'm going to talk about York St. John University. What sort of the university is this and quality of education and varieties of courses to give you all detail about it. We have very special guest from university side who is none other than Mausam Rahman who is looking after head of international at uh, York St. John University. The next one special guest is from university side who is no, none other than Kyle Henry who is looking after international development manager. Let's welcome them to the show. Uh, Rahman, you are welcome on our show. Thank you. You are also welcome to the show. Thank you very much. First of all, I would uh, like to start from the motion, uh, especially talking about uh, studying UK program, your presence here, and like uh, lots of the uh, like activities are here. Would you please elaborate something about your purpose to visit Nepal for this time? Absolutely. Listen, first of all, thank you. For, uh, we're very happy to be on your show. Uh, big fans. Um, the, one of the reasons we're here is Nepal is a very key strategic market for York St. John University. We are a university with great history with Nepal in general, not just because of the population, which is a growing population of Nepalese uh, citizens in the city of York, but also we've got a very growing population of York-based uh, Nepalese students, which is something that we really, really are, um, you know, happy about and very confident that uh, we can continue to grow. And that's one of the reasons we're here is to make sure that these students and prospective students understand that we're a university that are welcoming towards Nepalese students. We're also a university that's been around for over 175 years. We were established in 1841. Our whole ethos and agenda is around educating people, okay? That's an obvious thing to say, but we believe very strongly in social justice. And what that basically means is education for all and affordable education. We want everyone to have the opportunities regardless of race, nationality, or gender. And so one of the reasons we're here is to spread that message and to also meet the wonderful people and parents and prospective students in Nepal because we feel that we have a lot that they'd want to hear and we want to give these opportunities to these students so that they have uh, the best possible route to success in the future. Okay, thank you so much. Kyle, let's have a talk about the quality of education, especially talking about the uh, York St. John University. A uh, large number of international students are choosing university for quality of education. Let's have a talk about the global standard education there in your university. Sure, yeah, certainly. So, I mean, thankfully, and again, thank you for having me on today. I really appreciate it. Um, thankfully, at York St. John, we are in the top 30 universities in the UK out of 122 universities in terms of student satisfaction. Uh, and that, what, what that means is student satisfaction can be related to teaching quality, it can be with support services, uh, facilities. So we're encompassing the entire student experience when we talk about student satisfaction. It's not just about the academics, but it's making sure that they're supported with their uh, mental well-being, financial well-being, uh, any issues that arise, um, you know, we're there to take care of them. 
Uh, also at the university, we're very proud that 58% of our uh, research is internationally uh, recognized. So uh, a large proportion of our research at the university uh, exceeds global standards. So again, teaching to that very high quality. Um, we also make sure that we incorporate um, different values and I think having a very global population at the university means that we're able to encompass uh, a lot of the values and again ethos from different countries as well because we do welcome students from 100 countries across the world and we do have a very uh, big population of Nepalese students and it's been growing every year uh, and we're extremely excited about that as well. So um, lots of things that we're extremely proud of but the work doesn't stop there and we're continuing to grow and evolve in the future as well uh, and we do have lots of big plans for the future. So. Okay, most especially uh, it's really like popular University and the World University as well and university um, uh, indeed have like varieties of traditional course and modern course as well. Let's have a talk about the popular courses at um, uh, York and uh, St. John University. Absolutely. So one of the things to tell your uh, listeners and your viewers is that we are a growing institution and what that means as well is that we're growing in terms of facilities. We have recently opened a London campus. Well, it's been around for three years, but we've just recently moved to a larger facility, more modern facility, in where we believe business happens, in, in the East London in Canary Wharf area. Um, and in that uh, facility, we predominantly teach postgraduate students, so it's postgraduate courses only, in areas of healthcare, which is, again, very popular for Nepalese students. Uh, we also have programs in computer science, which again, another popular area. And we also have MBAs in areas such as general business or in healthcare management. So very small portfolio, but very big in demand. And again, a lot of Nepalese students would be very interested in these areas in London. These courses also come as two year options. So a lot of students will come just for the year, but a lot of students will take benefit of doing a two year program, one year in the classroom, theory, theory et cetera, coursework and assessment, and then one year work experience, you know, which is something that's very valuable and something where Nepalese students can definitely touch into. Imagine a student coming to the UK, doing a degree, and then getting the work experience before coming back to Nepal, or if should they choose to have an additional two years uh, through the post-study work route, which I'm sure your listeners and them would be aware of. In York, we're very popular with undergraduate students, in particular, hospitality tourism management, which is probably our most popular program uh, through, uh, with Nepalese students. We also have programs in uh, marketing and in entrepreneurship and uh, also computer science, cybersecurity. Uh, and of course, if students are interested, we do have other schools in arts, in psychology, in humanities. And also we, we do, we offer quite a few programs, but I think the computer science area, health, business, seems to be very popular amongst Nepalese. And we, of course, give them the, those options in masters and undergrad in York and postgrad in London only. Okay, Carl, especially talking about our television, so we are time and again visiting in different um, like uh, corner of the world, talking with the international students and sharing their experience. Regarding that, they often share about the infrastructure, international student caring unit, and so on facilities by heart. In this case, how you remark Saint, um, uh, York St. John University, it's uh, like um, uh, uh, international student and did like your university. Yeah, certainly. So, I mean, uh, again, with a growing proportion of international students on coming onto campus every year, uh, we actually welcomed our biggest uh, cohort of international students this September. Uh, we had over a hundred uh, Nepalese students and undergraduate join, uh, level join us, as well as several hundred other students from around the world as well. Uh, and part of what we do in terms of supporting them is putting on uh, what we call our Global Campus Initiative. And through our Global Campus Initiative, uh, we are able to put on weekly events for students where they're able to uh, celebrate different festivals or religions or different cultures. Uh, so we put on weekly events that are free for students. Uh, they can come and socialize with other international students or home students, uh, as we like to call um, so an opportunity to really uh, not only just experience the education side, but some of the more social side, uh, and also getting to you know, celebrate their own uh, cultural uh, festivities or events as well. So at the university, every week, there's a, a weekly event specific to international students. There's no cost. It's an opportunity to really network with other students and to also celebrate and have some fun because, uh, again, it's about quality of education, but you're also there um, in a very holistic sense, trying to improve yourself as a whole person. So the academic is one side, but also learning more about different cultures and um, different religions as well will help make them a more complete student. So uh, a big 
uh, initiative for us has been our global uh, campus initiative over this past year. So uh, it's been extremely exciting. Uh, aside from that, we're investing heavily in facilities. Uh, we have a new creative arts center that's just opened uh, this past year. So it's welcoming students from uh, art and design as well as our computer programs as well. Uh, and there's been a significant investment, uh, 28 million pounds if I do believe, and it's a brand new facility on campus. So um, we're trying to, like I said, look at the entire uh, experience for the students. So there's the academic, there's the facilities, and then there's also the social and uh, making sure that they're able to enjoy their experience and, and learn something and grow as well. So it's been fantastic in that sense. Right. So Kyle already talked about the international student experience and the response. Let's have a talk about Nepalese student response. So uh, being like a uh, like big brother, you, you are quite touched with Nepalese student as well. So how they are doing there and what are their like um, uh, response inside the classroom and extra activities? Honestly, we have been delighted with our students in particular because the York-based students have just come this year. So it's a large photo. But speaking um, on behalf of London campus where I'm based, they have a reputation to be some of the best students in the classroom. They come from all different experiences, whether it's you know GPs or dental hygienists, dental surgeons, or even those that have just come straight from a, a bachelor's education. The Nepali students have a fantastic reputation at this university. It's one of the reasons why we are clear that Nepal is a priority market for us because we feel that we're getting the best minds, the best students coming from Nepal choosing us. And that in turn is adding a lot of value and experience to the other students in the classroom mm -hmm. who look up to some of them, you know, and, and also the staff and the academics who are constantly giving me feedback, telling me just how great the Nepali students are. So what a fantastic, uh, you know, history we've got with recent history with Nepali students and we hope it continues. And it's one of the reasons why we're here because we want to continue to attract serious quality students, of which there are many in Nepal. Okay, Kel, especially talking about the education for all vision, uh, international educational institutions are welcoming more students, those who can pay. And even universities are equally inviting the genuine and deserving student as well. In this case, how uh, uh, York St. Uh, John University is welcoming deserving student in scholarship quotas. Yeah, certainly, and uh, scholarships is something. So I think we, we actually go to the start and, and looking at our fee structure. So as a university, we're very aware, we want to, as Mosin spoke to earlier, uh, we want we don't want there to be any barriers to education. So uh, it starts at, at setting fees at an appropriate price that's reasonable, that works for a, a range of different countries. So uh, by setting our tuition fees at a level that's affordable for all, and it doesn't impact the quality of the education, it's more that we're aware that uh, there's a lot of financial stress and a lot of strain on a lot of people at the moment. So um, by setting our fees competitively to make sure that scholarships aren't necessarily uh, always needed because the fee at the first point is set appropriately where students from all over the world are able to afford. Uh, that said, we are looking at a new scholarship program for Nepal in specific. Uh, we're actually doing some work and some research at the moment, uh, and we hope to be able in the next few months to be able uh, to offer a new scholarship opportunity specific to Nepalese students uh, to come and study with us at a range of different programs. And that's part of some of the work that we're coming to do in country at the moment. So uh, we do have scholarships available, and it's something that we're looking to increase, but we're also trying to be very strategic with our pricing to make sure that our prices are, are affordable for students regardless of their education or their uh, social economic background as well so um, you know we do understand scholarships are important and again we do have opportunities at both undergraduate and postgraduate level as well so okay right Mosin, especially uh, talking about your visit here and uh, there are like uh, uh, some of the event including uh, real dreams like information session so what sort of the like uh, ex expectation information sharing session will be happening so that um, uh, television viewer can participate on that information session yeah good question expectations are high because of the history and what we've been doing in the last couple of years in particular because the student quality has been fantastic so i'm looking for more of the same this time in person i get the privilege of being here and working with our partner, our YSJ Nepal office, Real Dreams, um, on the ground. So, yeah, I'm excited to meet, to you know, consult with these students and their parents, to have really productive conversations, to understand better what they're looking for. Because education, especially overseas, is a huge financial commitment. I mean, it's life-changing commitment. You don't make this kind of investment in your lifetime. 
So we're very interested in, and I'm looking forward to having these conversations, answering questions, and then of course looking at the affordability aspect, etc. So I think it'll be a very productive uh, you know, fairs and, and events that we're, we're going to be attending because uh, we want to make sure as well that you have the students have the right motivation because we are a growing university, you know, and, and our reputation and they must be intact. So we want to continue to make sure that the right students make their way. And then, of course, as what Carl said, we, want to, we don't want to make it unaffordable for them. So we've got a lot to tell them about why York St. John is a very attractive choice and an affordable choice for Nepalese students. Carl, especially we're at the end of this session, and uh, what is your message to prospective students and parents, those who are trying to get best university in the UK? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I think it pays to do your research. You know, you don't need to, to go to the first university that you've heard of. It does pay to do your research, just in terms of making sure it's a good fit for you. There's uh, Fortunately, in the UK, there's institutions of all different sizes. So uh, an institution like ours is probably a medium-sized institution. And one of the benefits of an institution like York St. John is student experience. Um, so there might be universities that are bigger or have better rankings, but what you get from York St. John is that one-to-one -one experience. Again, you come to our university, you're not just a name. Uh, sorry, you're not just a number, you're a name to us. Our, our teachers and academic staff get to know you on a personal level. Uh, there's personalized support for students as well. So I think you need to think about what kind of experience you're looking to get out of your education. Do you want to go and sit in a classroom with 500 other students and not have no interaction with your lecturer or your teachers and them not to know who you are? Or do you want that more personalized learning experience where you have that one-to-one -one contact with your teachers, with your lecturers, to be able to get feedback, to be able to get additional support? So I think for students considering study, they need to look at what kind of experience they're looking to get out of their education. Is it a personalized experience? Are they looking to just go to the highest ranked university? You obviously need to factor in uh, price and affordability and scholarships as well. So I think there's a lot of factors to consider. Uh, and probably the best thing I, uh, advice I can offer is to speak to other students. Uh, we have a huge uh, amount of, of Nepalese students at our campus and we're very transparent in the sense that if you'd like to speak to another student who's at our university, you know, we're welcome uh, to facilitate that conversation so that you can hear not from Mohsen and I, but from a student firsthand as to their experience. How are they finding life on campus? So some of the best advice I could probably offer is to have those conversations with students who are currently studying in the UK. Uh, because universities can say lots of things and have fancy websites, um, but it's that direct feedback and hearing from students that are currently studying at the institution that I think is the most valuable. And of course, you know, we would love for prospective students to speak to our current students so that they can hear from themselves about the quality of education, the quality of support that they're getting. So I think you know, that, that first-hand knowledge is uh, imperative and extremely important. And I would encourage anyone considering to study in the UK to reach out to someone um, you know, to speak to a student who's currently in the country and hear their experience so they can know that it's genuine. Okay. Well, Sin, before wrapping this, so what is your final message? It's actually an important, yeah, no, I've got a really important point to make, which is demand for higher education overseas is huge at the moment. And in particular in the UK, you know, their places are limited. And so, of course, the university uh, will have to, unfortunately, make difficult decisions and not everyone gets to the door. But a personal tip from me is to students, parents, counsellors, etc. is please invest the time in your application and your personal statement. Really invest that time because I think people understate the importance of it. It is more or less you putting down all your experience and also your motivations. It really helps us to understand and differentiate between a serious student and a non-serious student. So I would always say invest the time and if you need support, we have an agency and an office on the ground and they're more than able to also support and give guidance as well. So that's a personal tip. It's not guaranteed overseas education. It is selective. So please invest the time. And one final point actually for parents actually is that York is always consistently been voted one of the safest cities to live in the UK. And that is a very important point to make when parents are letting go of their they're their young children, you know, and uh, young meaning obviously they're of adult age, but still safety aspect is very important and York can offer that because it is a safe haven and it's a student city as well. So that's, that's all I'd want to mention at this point. Carl, thank you so much for your valuable time. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Rosin, you know, thank you so much for your valuable time. No, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for the invite again today.
Fashion UK, featuring UK.